the first letter we have in the book, Kathy wrote when she was 14 years old. And she wasn't any typical 14-year-old. She sheared her hair short against the fashions of Red Cloud, Nebraska. She was learning Greek and Latin with a local guy, and she was really interested in science and dissection. And as you can tell from this letter, already a very independent girl. School begins Monday, and I suppose I shall go, though I don't feel buoyant over the prospect. I have grown so attached to my work and place in the office, and to my little laboratory and my dissecting outfit and my stuffed animals, it is hard for me to leave them. Then here I am Miss Cather and Govern. There I am a child and I am governed. That makes a great difference with frail humanity. I had quite an adventure yesterday. A man came in and tried to sell Papa a bogus paper on some poor farmer. Papa could have made $50 on it, but he thought perhaps the man was a snide and did not like to in any way help defraud an honest man. So he told him to return in an hour. Then, when we were alone, told me he was going to hitch up the buggy and go see the farmer, and when the agent returned, to hold him at all costs. In an hour, the man returned, and I never had such a time. Of course, I had to talk the fellow to death to keep him. His buggy was ready, and if he got away, goodbye. Papa and the farmer returned and tackled him. He made for his buggy and escaped. The sheriff caught him at Amboy. The spunk she shows in this letter certainly would help her as she became a professional writer later on. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln Archives, I'm Andy Jewell.